Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is Super Slow-Mo Shuttle Control in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, this one has to do with making Premiere Pro behave like an old beta deck. Uh, a lot of old timers will remember those decks. They actually had a giant knob on them that had weight to it and, and it had resistance. So if you moved it very slowly, you could move a frame at a time on a tape deck. And if you move it faster, it would move faster. This feature has been around in Premiere Pro uh, for a long time, but it's, it's pretty hidden. It also works with the J, K, and L keys. And I want to give this, this tip to a lot of, again, new users who are mostly mouse-based. The J, K, and L keys are three keys that you can put your fingers on, either right hand or left hand, and they will function as regular shuttle controls. If you tap the J key once, you'll start going backwards. If you tap the L key once, you'll start going forwards. You hit the K key in the middle and it stops it. So you can kind of think of it as moving that wheel. Uh, the J, K, L, J, K, L. So that's the kind of way it works. Let's just look at that now. So I'll tap the L key. Goes Has forward. Had such an incident. Hit the K key and it stops. Hit the J key. And it goes backwards. If you tap each one of these keys more than once, it will actually speed up. So I'll be tapping L, 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 L. Has had such an incident. And then when you get to a point, so I think if I tap it four times, it's going so fast it doesn't play the audio anymore. But uh, same thing backwards. Now, if you add the shift key to that, then you can move in tinier increments. So watch this. I'm going to hit hold shift and hit L once. I'll tap L again. More, more. They're pouring a through rock. I'm tapping J a. with shift. A. And it's going backwards. Here's our... Okay, so now that's super slow mo, but if you use those old beta decks, you'll notice that Premiere Pro is not doing the, uh, the same thing to the audio pitch that you're used to. Uh, the people that were really good at these beta decks could actually hear things um, when they're really slow or really fast. By default, Premiere Pro will maintain the pitch regardless of how slow or how fast you're shuttling. We can turn that off. Let's go to the preferences. In the edit menu on Windows, Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, Preferences, Audio. Let's turn this one off. Maintain pitch while shuttling. Turn that off. Hit OK. Now let's hit the Shift L. Shift L again. Shift J. Going backwards, shift J. I'm going to hit shift L, 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 L. Keep tapping it. They threw rock. Three. 350 meters. Damaging two cars. And they also injured one man. In Malaysia. That's exactly what the beta decks would do. And Premiere Pro actually used to have a shuttle control right in the program and source monitor window to do that, that same kind of thing. But if you add the shift key JKL or just JKL on their own, you can really start to shuttle around and find the position. And, and this can be used to help find certain words, consonants, vowels that someone is speaking. And like I said, you can either have the pitch shifting or the pitch not shifting, whatever suits you. So this is how to make something new and futuristic like Premiere Pro work like an old-fashioned analog beta deck. 
Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to join us uh, and, and support us a little more, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, here to uncover some of the secret stuff that you'll never know is in there in Premiere Pro.